Okay, so the guys at Through Night have sent me their latest uh, incarnation. This is the Catapult V6. This is the cool white version. Love the box as usual. We get uh, your instructions, the usual um, accessories, the lanyard, two seals, and I'm guessing that little white seal is for the seal over the switch, which I've never actually had to use. The USB cable, pouch, and recyclable plastic bag. And there we go, the Through Night Catapult V6. Now, straight out of the box, as usual, it's nice to feel, it's heavy, which again I like, but some people might not. Um, the knurling's been improved, it's coarser, easier to grip. Your USB charging port, uh, your lanyard hole at the end, which is a little ring on the lanyard to go through there. Um, right, so it's got a great big um, lens, crystal clear with the Cree XHP35 LED in the back there. So let's run through a few of its characteristics. To turn it on, you just, I won't try not to blind the camera, press it once, hold it, and it cycles through the modes. Now you've got, um, how many, one, two, three, four, six modes. You've got turbo, which is the highest. You've got high, medium, low, firefly, and strobe. Now to get two flat, two um, clicks get, takes you straight to the highest. Two more clicks takes you to the strobe. Click and it's off. One long hold, and you get your firefly mode. You can see in there. Click and it's off. Um, what else do we need to know? The turbo mode. Although it would last 150 minutes according to the uh, brochure, they don't recommend that you have it on for longer than 10 minutes. I don't know if it gets too hot, because I did. you can feel it does get quite warm. Um, but I, I'm guessing you probably wouldn't need it on that long anyway, because it is so bright. What else? Um, it's now rated up to 750 metres, they reckon, longest, you know, the distance. And that's uh, from a 1700 lumen... Uh, output. It's fairly compact considering how powerful it is. It runs on one uh, 26650 rechargeable battery which you can see. Let's get to coming out the end here. And this is their own battery, 5000 milliamp hour. This is, let's see, their own battery, but I dare say there are others out there if you wanted to replace it. 3.7 volts. Fits in there quite nicely. It's good tight fit. The, the spring is good and tight. You can, I don't know if you'll be able to see there. In there is one of the seals. And again, there's one at the other end because it comes apart from both ends if you need to, to get into the other end. Do it up nice and tight. Alright, charging. Um, it's got a 2 amp USB charging. Um, when the indicator is flashing red, the indicator is here, right in the center of the switch, uh, it means it needs new battery or needs charging. During the charging, the indicator will just stay red, and only the fly Firefly low and medium modes are, are available, so you can actually still use it while it's charging. Once it's fully charged, this light goes blue, uh, and it doesn't come on at all when you're in Firefly mode. I guess that's to save battery and uh, stop distractions. Because I suppose in the dark, the blue does show up. Um, if you do get this turning purple, you're in trouble. There's something wrong with it, so you need to, to get it looked at. But touch wood, that shouldn't happen. Um, what else do we need to know? Um... Not a great deal, I don't think. Oh, it is waterproof to two metres. Uh, I'm not sure how long for. Um, it's an IPX8 
uh, standard so whatever that happens to mean I have no idea to be quite honest with you um, so yeah there we go I, I rather like it as I always do with their torches you know I, I, they keep surpassing themselves which I probably say each time because it does you know it's uh, good and chunky very compact for the, the power um, so we're going to wait till tonight we'll get it out in the garden and we'll compare it to uh, their previous version or previous um, sample that they sent me which at the moment is in my truck so this will no doubt take over from that so we'll see you later on when it gets dark OK, 11 o'clock at night, pitch black. Let's have a little look at this thing. Try and get it in firefly mode. One long press. No, that's not one long press. Let's put it out. One long press. That's it. There's firefly. And that is pretty nice if you wanted to just do a bit of reading. If you're in a card or want to do a bit of map reading. Go out for a pee from the tent. Whatever. That's, that's a nice sort of light. You wouldn't strain your eyes. You know, it wouldn't dazzle you too much with that. You could read nice and easily from that. Let's see what it looks like outside. You can see it there but it, it doesn't look as good in the video as it does in the flesh. It's You can actually see quite nicely with that if you just wanted to, to nip out the tent or whatever. We'll just go out without disturbing anybody. Let's see if we can get it up to the next one. That's the lowest on the next level. And that is really again, you can't tell from the video how bright that is. It's sort of more centered uh, I can see right up into my greenhouse there and see what's in there. It goes a long way, but it's sort of centered. Now this one, that's you wouldn't want much more than that for everyday use. That's sort of lit up the garden. And then, that is insane. For such a small package, that is insane. Lights up the whole garden in the center there. You can't actually see what you're looking at because it's still so bright. So the 750 meter is probably true. So I don't want to upset the neighbors. But there you go, I'm pleased with that, that's that's just mega. So look in the description for all the uh, links, and thanks for watching.